Interesting. Did I just go live? Okay, that was really bizarre. For some reason, my uh, streaming software wasn't saying I was live, but now it says I am? I think we're okay. Well, just in case, uh, just in case the beginning part didn't quite go through. Uh, woo! Yeah, just in case the beginning part didn't quite go through, we're just doing a really quick tree run, uh, berry patch run, and uh, birdhouse seaweed run, and then we're going to be doing underground pass and monkey madness. Welcome in, Ray. Welcome in. Yes, we're getting a lot of white berries. This is great. There's so many super defense potions already. Oh, wait, no, because we still have to get um, the pink dye. Just got a mining level 69. Nice. The best mining level. Dang, 31 white berries from two bushes. That's honestly, like, pretty good. I just realized I wasn't even wearing my secateurs, too. I, uh, I probably could have gotten more yield out of that. I'm pretty sure magic secateurs affect bushes. Seventies needed for Song of the Elves. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's right. Song of the Elves requires all seventy stats, basically. It would be interesting if there was like a Grandmaster quest that got released down the line that did require every single stat in the game to be at seventy. That'd be pretty fun. It would be crazy. It would be it'd be one hell of a quest. It would have to be with that requirement. Seventy rune crafting, just a thought gives you the shivers. Honestly, rune crafting nowadays is so much better, just simply because of Guardians of the Rift. Like legit, I don't think rune crafting's a problem anymore. Guardians of the Rift is just way too, way too good for it to be a problem skill. Nowadays, I think like the worst skill to train would either be like mining or uh, agility. Agility, I really do not like training. Because it doesn't feel worth it to train until you hit 90s, where you actually get all five floors of Hall of Sepulchre and you get the Arty course. Other than that, it's just such a chore. And get into a game, you sit at the portal for 30 minutes trying to get in. True. Yeah, that is the bad part about it. You do have to kind of be very vigilant to see when the games open up.
All right, so we won't be hitting level 65 farming today, but I do think that next Monday when we return to RuneScape, we absolutely should have that. So that is good. Because I am pretty sure that we are getting level 64 farming uh, with not this tree, but the next tree after, I'm pretty sure. If it didn't die. Hopefully it didn't die. That'd be kind of bad. Uh, yeah, we should have ex like pretty much exactly enough XP to get to level 64 farming. I'm a bit tired today. Wasn't even that long of a day at work. I mean, I guess it kind of was. I, I always find that whenever it's super slow at work, it the day ends up dragging a whole lot longer. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of weird. Kind of weird feeling today. But the good part is that I've been reading through. So uh, I've been reading through the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series a while ago. Hey, 64 farming. Let's go. Um, I've been reading through the Percy Jackson the Olympian series a while uh, while I was at work because they don't like us to be on our phones in between calls, but they allow us to read in between calls for some reason. Um, so I finished Percy Jackson the Olympians like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now, and then one of my coworkers has been lending me the sequel series, The Heroes of Olympus, and I started book four yesterday. Got like 100 pages in, and then today I got like 350 pages in again, and the book's only about 600 pages. So I read I read a good chunk of the book today. It was, it was great. That's a great series. Uh, what am I looking for? Hammer chisel. For you logs, and all of the Yanolin seeds. All right, cool. Off we go to Fossil Island. But yeah, if you've never read Percy Jackson the Olympians, highly recommend it. It's a very, very fun, wacky, uh, like, modern-day fantasy of, like, Greek gods and stuff. Sometimes it does, you know, show that, yeah, it is, it is, a, sh uh, it is a book series that is designed for, like, like, teens and young adults and stuff like that. But, like, it's a super light, super easy read, very, very fast, so... If you're good for a nice, easy read that won't take you very long to get through it, that series is fantastic. You come work with me? <laughs> eh, that's like one of the only benefits to the job. All, everything else is pretty high-paced. But I guess if you'd like to, go for it. I honestly am uh, kind of using the time to read in between calls while I can because... Um, the main reason why we're not allowed to have our phones out in between calls is because of security reasons. They don't want us to, like, record people's, like, social security numbers and stuff like that while we're on the call with them. Um, but I would argue that I could just write the social security number of someone in the margin of a book that I am reading, and no one would be any the wiser. And so it's like, hmm... If we are really going to go all in on security, then books should also be banned too, just as a logical progression of things. But, uh, you know, until they figure that part out, I'm going to take advantage of the little break that I have and pull out a book every now and then. It's been fun. I've, I've been reading through a lot of book series. I read through Lord of the Rings at the beginning of the year. Uh, after I finished Heroes of Olympus... 
Uh, well, I did Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I'm right now going through Heroes of Olympus. Afterwards, I'm going to go through Magnus Chase, which is an offshoot of the Percy Jackson, except it has to do with Norse mythology instead of Greek mythology. Um, and then after that, I'm going to start reading Game of Thrones because I've never read it before in my life, but I've heard that I would really, really like it. So, got to do that one. Don't you dare tell them? Oh, absolutely not. Believe me, my lips are sealed. All right, so one of the things that I am kind of thinking about doing for uh, the account, 99 Thieving is good. That's been a background grind. It's honestly been a little bit annoying. Uh, doing blackjacking on regular bandits sucks. But um, I am probably after I get 99 Thieving, um, I'm going to start going for 99 Crafting as my third skill cape on the account. I think that would be a really good one to go through just because probably by the time I get to the point where I can start processing like super glass make and doing all that stuff, I should have a high enough magic level to be able to, to do super glass make. I should have enough seaweed stockpiled in order to actually bank 99 crafting XP. The only thing that I'd really have to worry about is like mining 100k buckets of sand and then once that's done it's just a full send to craft am i missing a part of the dive gear yeah i'm not wearing the helmet or the backpack i'm just down here <laughs> it's a safe death if you run out of oxygen down here so there's no risk of dying it just means that i can't stay down here forever All right, that's another 40. What are we currently looking at in terms of banked XP? So I do want to get 75 crafting banked just right away. Uh, we got 1509, that is at 73 crafting. So we are needing a bit more giant seaweed in order to be able to hit 75. That will allow us to at least uh, stew boost for a glory. So, that's the current crafting goal right now and why I restarted the seaweed runs. Uh, oh, thank you for Bert. Actually, no wait, Bert did reset. Uh, I was I was just about to say I don't think that he reset yet because it hasn't been time, but I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see, it, it rolls over at 6 p.m. CDT, right? Central Daylight Time. 8 p.m. your time, 7 mine. Okay, cool. Hi, Bert. Give sand. All right, cool. That's some sand done. Uh, so what quest do we want to start first? Are we wanting to do Monkey Madness or Underground Pass? Let's see what requires... Let's see what Underground Pass is going to require from me. Uh, rope, multiple in case I fail an agility check. It was 64 agility. I'd be surprised if I did. Um, a bow, not a crossbow. Arrows, metal, unpoisoned. I have some Addy arrows I can bring. A uh, spade, a plank, a bucket, and tinderbox, as well as combat equipment. There are three demons I have to kill that are safe spottable. Three paladins. Uh, how much money do I have? 130k. So I can only buy one helmet right now up in... Uh, yeah, I can currently only buy one helmet right now for the uh, Barbarian stuff. I'm trying to figure out what helmet I should buy first. Right now I'm in between the Farseer Helm or the Archer Helm. 
I'm thinking Farseer just because of the jungle demon. Because uh, I'll be using magic to fight the jungle demon. So having the Farseer helm will just help that out a bit more. Um, otherwise, the Archer helm. Hmm. Because this requires a bow and metal arrows. Or a bow and one arrow, I should say. So maybe I could go in with magic gear, so that way I can take out the demons as well as, uh, hmm. Man, I'm really trying to thinking, I'm really trying to think about how to do this. Hey, Freak, what's up? We are indeed going underground. Uh... You know what? I have enough magic bonus with the blessed, uh, with the blessed robes here. So, yeah, it's four plus four. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, let's buy the ranger helmet. We don't really have a good range helmet anyway, so let's just get that. And then we'll use a range setup to go through the underground pass. And then 350 adamant arrows or the 300 adamant arrows that I have should be enough? Question mark? I would hope it is. I'd be very surprised if if uh, that wasn't enough, but I guess we'll find out. It'll be nice to doing underground pass right now because I have protect from melee. I think what I might want to bring, I think I want to bring in a full prayer pot just to make sure that I at least have like some ability to regenerate prayer if needed. I doubt that I will need to, but better safe than sorry, right? All right, Skullgrimmin, give me a hat. Give me a good hat. We're going with Archer Helm. Yep. Oh, I need 45 defense for that? Well, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just 40. All right, well, rip that. <laughs> I, uh, I guess that will be unlocked after Monkey Madness then. Well, cool. We at least have it. It's not bad. We do we do need it, but boy do I have egg on my face. Okay. Uh two law runes, two water runes. Let's go ahead, head to Artie and prep. Alright, so first things first, we need to get full range gear. I'm also going to bring a dueling ring with me. Um to use as my emergency teleport. Or just as a way out. Um, actually, maybe I should bring the Artie Cloak as an emergency teleport. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's figure out the range setup. So we got this. We get the magic short bow. We get all the admin arrows. That's good and dandy. Let's bring this. Let's bring these as well. I have two slots left. One of them is going to be the accumulator, and then the last one. Uh, yeah, we'll do a ring of dueling just to get myself a way out. Can I equip Bavas? There it goes. Okay, uh, so that is done. Let's go ahead and grab then. Uh, it says 750 coins to buy food. Let's also grab 
one prayer potion. Uh, let's just bring like a regular one dose. I think that'll be fine. Okay, uh, we need a rope. We need a spade. We need a plank. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We need a bucket. We have plenty of those. And we need a tinder box. And combat equipment. Uh, meaning that we need to bring food now. I think that should be okay. I think that is enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have what we need for Underground Pass. Let's go ahead and start it. I'm actually going to grab the Arty Cloak as an emergency teleport, just in case. Gem bag acquired. Very nice. Very nice. Gem bags are nice. I may not go for it on this account. I think sticking with uh, just coal bag from MLM is like really all I need. Unless the quality of life improvements that they put onto Motherload Mine make it so that getting the gem bag is actually pretty easy. But I don't think they talked about like changing the, how frequently those uh, gold nuggets show up, so kind of doubt that that's the case. Uh, where is the Arty Cloak? It's in here. There we are. You sold your coal bag for a gem bag? Uh, remember to write down your path on the maze for regicide. Good shout. Good shout. I for sure will be doing that. I actually just realized I should be able to do the RD Medium Diaries here pretty soon, right? Watchtower, Tower of Life, and Underground Pass. So I need 50 attack for that. Tower of Life and then uh, Watchtower. The Watchtower, it says started Watchtower. I may as well finish it out. The Watchtower teleport is not the most useful, but like it's better than nothing. Besides, having a teleport directly to Yana will be a very good thing. All right. Use rune light to mark tiles. Yep, that's what the plan is. Seems to be the easiest method to figure that out. We're going to go ahead and walk to the entrance just so that way we get some of the uh, run energy back. I actually realize we're going to be getting Clank's Gauntlets through this. I wonder if that's better than the uh, Iron Gloves. I think they are. I think it's Mithril Gloves is when they get outclassed by Clank's Gauntlets. Was you done that your first time through? Yeah. I honestly don't mind the Underground Pass. I really like it a lot. Uh, at least in terms of like the aesthetic of the Underground Pass, like this quest in general. Oh, I love it so much. This is one of my favorite old school RuneScape quests. All right, off we go into the underground pass. Whew, okay. Yeah, 
Now I'm just getting flashbacks of uh, Gelenor games when they had to go through the underground pass. That was fun. Alright, talk to Koftig. That's right, I need to search the abandoned equipment. I have no reason to do that. Okay, fine. I'll have a reason here in a second. I have a single adamant arrow lit in my inventory. Okay, there we go. Oh, it missed? It can miss? Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. Uh, let's just take one more. There's no way, there's no shot that I miss this again. Fire at the rope. Really? I missed again. Or did I? Wait. Huh? Oh no, there we go. It's auto-pathing me. I was about to say, it's like, why am I not able to control? Okay, there we go. Good old temple spiders. We love to see that. As well as some goblins. Okay. These goblins aren't aggro, right? Yeah, they're not. Use rope on the rock. Did I do it on the right rock? I think I did. Was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy Yachty. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below. All right. So there goes my rope. That should be okay. I don't think I need a rope for anything else now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, I also realized, I think I could do the thieving shortcut. Because that, what, requires 60 thieving? I have 63 thieving? Yeah, I should be able to do that. Alright, here it goes. This one. Nope. God, 15 damage. That's so brutal. This one. Nope. Okay. This one. Nope. Good to know. This one. Alright. Absolute last one I could have tried. Very good. Man, I am already going through a lot of food. Where do I buy the food? Is it from him? Okay. Uh, so this absolutely has to be one. This one? Okay. So we do have this tile marked. Um, this one. Nope. Okay. Goblin Slayer X RuneScape event? That'd be pretty fun. I'd do pretty good at that one. <laughs> All right, so it'd have to be this one then. And then this one. Okay, good. And then straight ahead for the last one. Not quite. Man, this is going through a lot of food. Kind of forgot how much food this took. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we're lucky on the right. We are not. Okay, so it is the left one. Absolute worst case scenario, we're going to have to go back and get more food, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be a necessity yet. Alright, cool. We have our path marked.
Dang, we are only down to three pieces of food left. I actually might have to leave and head back in after I restock on tuna. A little surprising, not gonna lie. Alright, there's one orb. The pit traps are brutal. They really are. 15 damage on a trap is pretty insane. I'm also very sad that they got rid of the little X plate where you could just like wait and then run over the pressure plate. Can't believe the game is making me play. Okay. Grab the light. Okay. I think we might be fine as long as we get to the Paladins. Um, yeah, I think as long as we get to the Paladins to get like that restock of food, we should be okay. I always find that the amount of food that they give me is like really, really a lot. So might be kind of hard to, uh, might be kind of hard to run out of food with that in mind. And I think the 750 gold for buying food is for the dwarves down at the bottom part of Underground Pass. I'm almost certain I can get there without any issues. Mighty of Gmod Idiot Box? Oh man. I haven't heard that name in years. I wonder how Das Boshit's doing nowadays. I think the last thing I saw that he worked on was uh, Gorgeous Freeman. But I wonder, wonder what he's up to nowadays. <laughs> Why didn't I search the rock? Okay. That was only nine damage. That's fine. Search flat rock. Yes, I'll give it a go. Oh, really? Again? Alright, let's try this again. Only down to two tuna. Okay, there we go. Got the four orbs. Man, I'm really low on food. I'm getting a little nervous about this. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all the orbs into the furnace and then I'm gonna telly out and restock on food and just head back in. The only thing I lost was a rope. Everything else should be a lot, lot faster. All right, that should be fine now. Let's go ahead and nom on this just to get back up to full health. Then we just need to grab another rope and head back in. Another rope, a lot of food, and then head back in. So I want to talk about this. Uh, before stream, I was doing some blackjacking just to just to try and get some levels up. You know, gotta have 
99 black or 99 uh, thieving here pretty soon. So blackjacking is the fastest way that I would like to do to get it. Um, and as I was doing this, this guy in like dragon med helm, dragon chain body, obsidian legs, the obsidian shield, like a dragon scimitar, just shows up out of nowhere and starts like he attacked the bandit I was I was blackjacking, then stopped and then attacked it again and killed it. And I was just sitting there like, dude, I'm very obviously blackjacking on this bandit here, like very obviously skilling. Why did you do that? <laughs> so that was that was a fun little encounter. <laughs> Some people, man. And the effort to try and prevent bots, they end up just being absolute pieces of crap to other players. Like, I get it. I get it when people are upset at bots and stuff. But, like, if you think it's a bot, just use the report abuse button. Like, don't, don't ruin someone who potentially could be a real player. <laughs> Or if you are going to, like, mess with a bot like that, check. Like, double check and make sure they are a bot. <laughs> you know, you can look up the high scores. There's the little bot lookup, or the bot detector plugin. I don't know how effective that is nowadays. Um, but, like, you know, my account as a hardcore Iron Man with a very specific name that details a goal is now blackjacking i don't know it's really really hard for me to view that as anything else other than that guy just wanted to be a dick because <laughs> the bot argument doesn't hold water the moment you start to scrutinize it from the angle it's like oh i thought he was a bot literally like any detail about my account that is publicly available on the high scores uh kind of immediately make that make that argument not effective Ritzcape being toxic I know right come on man I thought Theoatrix was supposed to make it no longer toxic anymore Where, what's the deal <laughs> make a great point my name is not QWERTY12097 yeah like, like if it was something like that I would totally get it I'd be like okay yeah my name does kind of look like a bot this does this is a very suspicious activity I would at least understand especially if I was a main account as opposed to a uh, a fully fledged hardcore Iron Man <laughs> people be crazy that's just all it is I know I can't get a clear shot from here. That's why I clicked the rope so you could path me. No! Come on! I have so much range! Again? Come on! Let's just get two. I didn't even need the second one. I got it first try. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's always fun. There's also like another thing that I saw too, where uh, I noticed whenever there are people splashing, uh, there almost always is another player with a cat out that's trying to catch the rat so that way uh, they no longer have something to splash on. And every single time I see that, I always kind of think it's like, why do you care? Like they aren't botting, they're using a very legitimate technique of the game. They're using a very legitimate mechanic of the game. You know, the fact that minus 65 magic attack bonus causes no damage on the target and still 
grants you a baseline experience for casting the spell. I think that those are two very intentional mechanics that if you are clever enough to put those two together, you should be allowed to reap the benefits of that. So I, I never understood why, God damn it. I never understood why people uh, were so gung-ho about like going after splashers. Splashwick Seagulls a few days ago, dear God, it was boring. So yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's it's super boring. It's not efficient. It takes a really, really long time. And like the biggest benefit, and it's also super expensive. So the biggest benefit of splashing is just the fact that it's like ultra AFK. It's like the one benefit out of several negatives. <laughs> so it's like, okay. God damn. I am failing these traps left and right. All right, down the well I go. That's right, the the shortcut's over here. Okay. an afk you were there the whole time but watching monk see like that that's that's kind of what i mean by afk like it's just on your second monitor so that way you can like look over and make sure that you're still doing the thing but like you could just start splashing get up walk away entirely and watch a tv or watch like a show out in the main room play a video game or two <laughs> Like, that's the kind of stuff where you just set it, forget it, and then when you run out of runes, you run out of runes. The only thing you have to worry about is every 10 minutes you have to re- like, restart the process. I'm pretty sure. I think it's 10 minutes. Cook a four-course meal. Exactly! Make some lasagna. Come back, you're still splashing. But, you've gained one magic level. <laughs> All right, you ready to go kill a unicorn? Wait, hold on, I need to search the cage first. That's right, I need to get a lever. Make the spaghetti, exactly. God, it's such a brutal, <laughs> it's such a brutal animation seeing all that. <laughs> all right, cool. Damage unicorn horn. Love it. <laughs> Yay. I, I wonder how that happened. I wonder how I came upon this unicorn horn. I totally didn't get it because I was a bad person or something like that. H how dare you suggest that? <laughs> Is this where the paladins are? I think we're coming up on that section here in a moment. Yeah. Yeah, here are the paladins. Time to make some friends and then kill my friends. Woo! Serious voice thinks you have a soul. You work retail, your soul was destroyed years ago. That is such a mood. That is such a mood. Uh, 
Oh, he gave me a prayer potion. Good, nice, lovely. Ah uh ha ha ha. Can I do this? Nah, that's not a good safe spot. This guy does damage though. Fill up just a little bit. You know, a loaf of bread won't hurt nobody. Try the fire. Oh, you're right. I forgot that fire. Nope, never mind. He can stand on the fire. He can stand on the fire. <laughs> abort mission, abort mission. Well, killed the wrong paladin. That's fine. Probably eat the pies first before I reach for the tuna. All right, one paladin left, and then it is time to head into the underground pass proper. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. The underground pass is no joke. All right, here we go. Got everything I think we need for this. Yeah, so time to just head over to the Well of Souls, dump a few things in, and then we running. we go into the big part of the underground pass I don't want to head south cough take that's not the fast route the fast route is going this way and then down at least I think so I hope so I hope this route's available to me. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I wonder if the Solus drop anything good, or if it's just bones. I think they're more here for set dressing than anything else. Hello, Mr. Dwarves! Hey, nice, I got more pies and pizza. Oh, nice. Actually, the uh, Clank's Gauntlets are better. They are better than Iron Gloves, so uh, that means that we now have our best in slot gloves until we get Mithril. At least I'm pretty sure. Iron Gloves are slightly better offensively, but only like a point. So I don't mind just outright swapping it for Clank's Gauntlets. Just bones, but people use them for training? Really? Do they have do they have high HP or something like that? That'd be the only reason why I'd see it be useful for training. 
because they were they were only level 18 and by the time you are at the point where you can fight the solace i imagine you're pretty high up in levels still early game but not not like early early game high hp low accuracy that makes sense that makes a ton of sense that's exactly like the experiments they only drop bones but they have 100 hp and they don't hit very hard so they were super popular i remember killing uh i remember going through and killing experiments back when i was a kid for melee training it back in the day it always felt like it took hours and hours and hours just to get like one level but i've realized now that i've grown up a little bit that uh a lot of my issues with uh with training there is just the fact that i do not have a very good attention span so i would just sit there i'd kill like five of them get bored and then leave and so i never got any good training done <laughs> Same thing with rock crabs. Like, I'd start AFKing rock crabs, I'd lose aggro, and then I'd leave. <laughs> that or someone would crash me, and then I'd get frustrated and leave. Twenty-four HP, but you can cannon them. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that just sounds like range XP go burr. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's fine. That works. All right, cool. Time to grab this. All right, awesome. And we got, oh, a restore potion, attack potion, and a super attack potion. I will drop the attack potion gladly for the super attack. Um. Okay. Now what I need to do is... That's right, I need to kill some demons. <laughs> Restore potion I don't think is really going to be all that useful, but I'll have it just in case. I don't think there's anything that like needs that potion. So far my RNG with these jumps too have been really, really good. And now that I say that, I've jinxed it, so I'm going to knock on wood really quick. I just hope I don't wicked beef it. <laughs> That'd be not ideal. What did I need the bucket for? I'm trying to think of why, why the quest told me to bring a bucket. Is it for like, oh, okay. Oh, it's for the, the dwarf brew. Okay. <laughs> For my tears, true. It's an excellent point. Otherwise, how else can I hold on my tears? Okay. Uh, sure, let's scatter these, why not? Can dip my tears into a sweater? <laughs> nice little liquid sweater to wear whenever I'm too warm and need to get cold. Knit with pain and misery and agony. Didn't mean to grab those ashes, but we did anyway, so let's go. Ooh, nice. Good hit. Good hit on me, Othanian. Othanian. Just gonna call you Jonathan. There's enough of the same letters in there, so we're just gonna call this guy Jonathan. Jonathan, Dumathan, and Holothan. That's the chest I have to open, right? Okay.
This is a regular pizza? No, it's a meat pizza. Okay. No pineapple pizzas for me. Yep, that is the chest. Lots of good as pineapple does not go on pizza. No, pineapple's good on pizza. I like pineapple pizza. I do not care if that is a blasphemous saying. I I stand pineapple pizza. Pineapple and ham Hawaiian pizza. Very, very good. I like it. It's got the freak seal of approval. Though I imagine that probably doesn't mean much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm the raving lunatic. I'm I'm over here like I'm not wrong, everybody else is wrong. <laughs> Ooh, Crazy Ice Pizza from Mr. Deeds. Peanut butter and gumballs? No. No, no, no. No, God, no. That's a hard veto. Honestly, it's not even because of the peanut butter. Because if it's a dessert pizza, you can put peanut butter there. But gumballs? You're, you're eating gum while eating pizza. That just doesn't... That doesn't sound like a good combo. But like if you got like one of those Oreo pizzas where it's like the chocolate and the icing and all that stuff and it's like meant to be a super sweet pizza and it's slather on some peanut butter there, that, that I could see that tasting good. It's food crime hour. <laughs> Grilled cheese and applesauce. Let's get a take on that. Uh... Honestly, I don't think that that would be bad. I don't think it would be good, but I don't think it would be bad. See, I'm I'm cursed though. One of those sandwiches that I used to eat a lot in uh, when I was in drum corps, because uh, we had like a PB and J stand there, but we also had pickles that we had available to like put on any meals that we had. So we did the peanut butter and pickle sandwich, and honestly, sounds. I will admit, sounds kind of gross. It doesn't sound the most appetizing. We'll fully give that there. However, um, it is very good. The the nuttiness and sweetness of the peanut butter mixing with the saltiness of the uh, of the pickles. That's a good combo. Now here's the question: chunky peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? I am in the smooth peanut butter camp. I I like smooth peanut butter. Smooth, nice. It's funny though because like I like smooth peanut butter a lot and I don't like chunky peanut butter, but if I'm drinking orange juice, I prefer pulp instead of no pulp. I don't know. Would 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 chunky peanut butter just be considered peanut butter with pulp? <laughs> That's, I think that might be the single most cursed question I've ever asked. <laughs> Kalrog! Alright. Now to figure out a way to get Kalrog to fight me without getting aggroed from other spiders. Let's go! That was easy! Extra pulp peanut butter. <laughs> Ketchup on mac and cheese should be a crime. You'll die on that hill. Uh, unfortunately, I disagree. <laughs> I, 
I think it's okay. It's just peanuts? Yeah. You're not wrong on that. It absolutely is just peanuts. All right, cool. So that was done. All right. Let's go ahead and eat one of these pies because I think we are going to need some extra inventory space. We'll drop the restore potion. I don't think I'm going to be in, at risk of losing any stats here. Search the cage, and I'm pretty sure these guys can't hurt me because of Clank's gauntlets. Pog. Oh shit, is it time? It is indeed time, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Ivan up here in the top because I'm pretty sure the way that you need to go about this is that you need to the moment you walk in the door, you just use the doll of Ivan on the well. Let me actually swap left click to use. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to use the doll of Ivan on the well immediately. And apparently that paths without any risk of getting hit by lightning. So we'll see how that works. One of my coworkers who plays this game at work told me that. So if it doesn't work then i'm gonna have to tell him be like hey bud you killed my hardcore <laughs> why would you kill my hardcore <laughs> yep there indeed is a large temple in the middle of the cavern i see that let me kill a disciple of ivan so i can steal his clothes Okay, and if I remember right, it is wearing monk robes. Do I have to take off everything else? I think I do. Okay, prepare to use Ivan's doll on the well as he can deal damage quickly. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. We're going to click the door and immediately use the doll on the well. We're at full health. Let's get the run energy up. Use doll, well. Use doll on the well. All right, there we go. That was immediate. He didn't even get a chance. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that is uh, that is this quest done. That is Underground Pass. Let's go. All right, there we go. Good fight, yeah. <laughs> GG, no re. I don't like peanuts in my butter! <laughs> or in my nut butter. Not much of a fan of peanut butter, but boiled peanuts. My God, you can eat your weight in boiled peanuts. Yeah, boiled peanuts are good. I had them uh, once at a gas station on the way to, to Houston. Uh, I was riding with a buddy I hadn't seen in a while and we were doing a road trip and so we pulled up at this gas station like hey man there's some boiled peanuts you want some I'm like I've never had them before sure let's do it and uh, they're really good it's 
it's gonna sound stupid to say this, but I was surprised about how much like beans they tasted. And the reason why I say it's stupid is because peanuts are legumes, which are beans. <laughs> so like, yeah, of course they would taste like beans. <laughs> but uh, that that was like the biggest thing I, I took away from that. It's just that they, they taste like beans when they're boiled. <laughs> All right, I think after this, gonna do a really quick birdhouse run and seaweed run, and then we'll go do monkey madness. Buy them from inside the stores, some dude outside the gas station selling them. Uh, yeah, I was just inside the store. They didn't have a, they didn't have a food truck guy. Or like a random guy off the side of the street selling them. I, 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 I absolutely believe you that they are better from the food truck guy. Typically food truck food tastes better. You just run the risk of severe food poisoning. <laughs> All right. There we go. We have completed underground pass. We've gone up a combat level. We've gone up an attack level. That's always nice. Love to see it. I'm curious at how much better the Zamorak top is compared to the... Uh, or the Zamorak robes are compared to the prayer robes. I don't think they're any better, but I uh, just to check. Not a food truck, some dude with a pickup truck and a barrel boiling them there on top of the asphalt. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> that sounds, that actually sounds really fun. That, that sounds like a great time. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. Let's get the clanks gauntlets up here. Okay, so this is plus four, plus four, plus six. This is plus three, plus two, plus three. Okay, so yeah, the uh, the ancient road top is better than every single way. Good to know. Glad we did that little thought experiment. Let's go ahead and rearrange some of this stuff. Let's revive and we can actually go ahead and just trash. Okay, uh, we need graceful. Ooh, I am running out of ruby pendants. I need to fix that. Wrong logs. Wait, there were seaweed spores over there? They could spawn over here? Oh no, that's uh okay, there's some ammonite crabs over there. I see the bone bolts. Okay. I was gonna say it's like there's no shot that there is just a a uh seaweed spore spawn over there that I've never seen before. <laughs> but did load all those. Yep. Okay.
I didn't realize just how bad my dry streak was on the capes for the beginner clue. Man, 214. I expected to get one at 90. Wait, I need spores. All right, now, okay, these are not impacted by magic sectors, so don't pull those out. I wonder what the beaver recolor is going to be like, because I think they were talking about that with the forestry update, so I hope that they do add a transmog for the beaver. General chat and Discord's a picture of what you're talking about? Yeah, let me peek. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen those before, but honestly, that does look very, very good. Okay, I think I am wanting to go through all of my snape grass and make as many prayer potions as possible. Um, just because Monkey Madness, from what I remember, is a quest that could use like 10 prayer potions, depending on how lucky or unlucky I get. So I think I would much rather be prepared for that as opposed to unprepared. No, better over prepared than under prepared. So, we're gonna over prepare some prayer pots. If you remember right, you use zero. That'd be ideal, but the thing I'm most concerned about is the, uh, is the, like, underground Apatol to get the Zooknock, as well as the, uh, the jungle demon fight. That's the main reason why I'm a little bit nervous about prayer pots. Uh, do I have vials of water? I do, thank God. All right, let's go ahead and divvy these up. Uh, 14 of these and, yep. At least this won't take super long to set up. Is bird flick through underground? That's fair. I don't want to put that much brain power to it. Since I can make the prayer pots, I may as well just use those. Uh, where are my Rinar potions? Okay. Hey, nice herbler levels. That should be good. Uh, let's take a look here. Monkey Madness. 
All right, we need gold bar, ball of wool, five bananas, monkey bones, or corpse, which are obtainable during the quest. So we need a gold bar and a ball of wool. We have five gold bars, and I'm sure we have plenty of balls of wool. Yep, we do. Okay. Then combat beer, or combat beer, what? Combat gear, food, and potions. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with... Just in case I'm going to need it, going to go ahead and bring these two. Actually, wait, not the anti-dragon shield. Let's bring the runekite shield. Uh, we're actually going to move the anti-dragon shield down here to the specialized equipment, because that's what it is now. Um, okay. I think I'm going to drop these in the clue tab. I think they're clue items. Don't forget to get multiple Greek Rees for RFD. Good shout. How many I need? Because I'm also going to need some for Monkey Madness 2 as well. I think it's like, what, five Greek Rees total? There's Karamjin Monkey, Zombie Monkey, Gorilla, Ninja Monkey, Kruk. I think that's it. Yeah, so I think I only need to get five Grigories. Okay. Uh, let's grab Air, Water, Earth, Fire, Law. And we'll bring some money as well, just in case. I don't know why we would need money, but better safe than sorry. Let's get our prayer points sealed up here, and then we'll run and start doing some monkey madness. I think I just realized that there is a much faster way to get to the Grand Tree. Gnome Glider. I think that's my fastest way. I will say there is one quality of life upgrade that uh, Rootscape 3 does have that I wish Old School had, which is the fact that you can right click a ladder and do climb top or climb bottom. Wish that was a thing in this game. doing fly with captain erdo to gandius okay uh talk to the shipyard guy and then return back to the grand tree that's directly north okay we're gonna slayer a few days ago don't know what to get first herb sack or rune pouch herb sack you can live without a rune pouch for a while um, but herb sack, I think has the most immediate benefit. The only thing about the herb sack though, is that you have to also make sure you get the, uh, uh, you m make sure you have to get the herb lore requirement as well. I plan on getting my rune pouch through LMS, so I'm 
really only looking at Slayer for the herb sack, and even then, I'm wondering if it would be more efficient to just do Tithe Farm to get the herb sack. I know I said I didn't want to initially, but the more I think about it, the more I feel like that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Just so that way I can use all of my Slayer points for Slayer and not have to worry about buying Rune Pouch or Herb Sack through Slayer. Yeah. All right, talk to Dero. Oh, I need to hit up the bank before I do this. Let's grab some prayer potions. Let's grab some, uh... Let's grab like three prayer pots and like 10 tuna and an anti-poison. I think that should be plenty. Okay. One... Two... Three. Nice, nice. This is starting to look a lot more like a gear or a resources tab now. Let's go. Got the tuna and we need anti poison. Cool deal. We are all set. Let's go ahead and start walking so we have enough run energy for the tunnels. Invest the money you got from the ham shank into Ranar and make prayer pots. Yeah, you could. Um, yeah, there's really not very many good ways to get herbal ore. I mean, I guess since you do have access to Nightmare Zone herb boxes, just camp a bit at Nightmare Zone and open up all the herb boxes and just make those into potions. I'd assume that'd probably be the most cost effective way to do so. I think I have to go through all this. All right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and do the slide puzzle. All right, awesome. It is already put in for me. I feel like I got a super slow pattern. There we go. That was, that was a lot. <laughs> now do that fast again without the plugin. <laughs> you out of your goddamn mind. I've only ever done that puzzle once without the plugin. Every other time, if I didn't have the plugin available, I just paid the 200K. 
I've probably lost across all the accounts I've done that on. I've probably lost around 800k on that puzzle alone. Between all the accounts I've done Monkey Madness on. <laughs> Nice. Love scorpion. Ah, I love poison scorpion. Uh, talk to Wadar. Cannot convince them though. All right, there we go. Far away in Karamja. All right, head rest. And then north with Prey Range on. I don't know when I need to turn on Prey Range, so I'm just gonna give a good guess. You know what? Why leave it up to fate? Let's just put Prey Range on now. to start going away from the prison cell and sneak out and try to go to the north side of the prison. That's right, I have to get up around over here. I was wondering how many hours did the first person to complete MM1 take to pace that? Or pass that? That's a good question. I don't know if the um, if like the strats for I don't know if the strats for all that stuff were out by that time. Nice. I like how the spider is aggro. How frequently does it respawn? Oh man, it responds and attacks immediately. That's okay, we're just gonna get some AFK strength training in. Okay. That should be good. Ooh, yes, that should be good. Yes, it was. Nice. Wow, it hit me for 10 damage. Okay. Ouch. Oh, I think it was a monkey guard. Okay. Yep, didn't trust that at all. Hi, Garkor. Oh, uh, um, what? Do they despawn? Please tell me they despawn. Oh, they do not. Should I just go up to them and be taken? Or can I just run up this way? All right, I hope that means they've despawned. No, it's still definitely here. Oh, that's Duke. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. What do I do to get rid of this? Do I just let myself get caught? Well, 
Well, he is kind of stuck there. Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, there we go. I think this path that this told me to take is totally wrong. All right, well, let's go ahead and try it again, I guess. It says, do not stand on the light part of the floor. Okay. Kill the scorpion real quick, and then we'll run in. Nice. Okay, we need to grab some of that. Search crate. Good, got monkey dentures. Excellent. Let's grab this now. Is that a monkey talisman? Oh, it's a hole. Ah, that's where it is. Okay, this is where I get the monkey speak amulet. Okay. All right, cool. We got the monkey speak amulet. Let's go ahead, tally out. Um, mm, what's the fastest one? Ah, let's just go Barak, why not? I think Lumpert is actually probably the fastest one to a, uh, to one of these, uh, altar. Okay. We need gold bar, monkey dentures, mamulet mold. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the Gnome Glider. Still think that'll be the fastest way to get to the Gnome Stronghold, but I am going to walk for right now, just so that way I can make sure that I have enough run energy for this part. I don't think I have any energy potions. I can double check, but I'm pretty sure I'm fresh out. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's put all that away. We do have this. That's good. Okay, we do have some energy potions. Let's just go ahead and bring them all. Um, fill up the rest with food. And then we'll leave one spot for an arty cloak. As we'll use that as an emergency teleport. Actually, now I'm thinking about this, we could probably get rid of the coins and get some more fish. Uh, okay, and now for a quick sort of the inventory that should be good up oh, forgot the gold bar we need that I would have sucked to go through all that and realize that I forgot the gold bar up oh, I need to put away a fish there we go Can Iron Man access other players' uh, POH? No, but other players can access an Iron's POH. But they have to be mains.
to make a lectern and make uh, teletabs? I should, but I don't have the construction level for that yet. I still need to do uh, quite a bit more. The requirements for the teleport tabs are surprisingly really high. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get running now. Yep, here are the monkeys. Just running through this all as fast as I possibly can. Okay, I can turn off the prayer for right now at least. Turn it back on. Nice, didn't do it in time. This is really the big area where I need the prayer protection prayers. Nice. Just running over traps. We're good. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. All right, looks like that that went through pretty okay. monkey in there. Yep, there is. Thought I was already done with the monkeys. Okay, now we are done with the monkeys. Alright. Talk to Zooknock. Alright, and here we go. Alright, good. Uh... Okay, I need to go to the temple basement. So, I'm trying to think too, how am I gonna get the gorilla bones? Cause like, the monkey bones and all that stuff, that's easy. But the gorilla bones are the part that make me kind of concerned. Because that's going to be kind of hard to get. Um, hmm. Pray at the altar next to them? Oh, okay. And then just keep standing there going at the gorillas until I eventually get bones. Dang, okay. Uh, I should bring max strength stuff then. Yeah, we'll bring the power ammy instead of the uh, dig site pendant.
I don't know, maybe we just go in and fold melee gear, see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. Full melee gear. We'll go full melee gear as we kill the uh, thing, just to give us as high, a, uh, like, accuracy as possible. I guess. Strength bonus is really not that high, but I could use all the accuracy bonus I could get. Then I need to figure out how to kill a ninja monkey. Okay, so that's good. Let's pause it just all this. Uh, we need this. We need this. We need this. And one. Okay. Let's bring the boots. As well as the fire making cape, just for that extra little boost. And then we'll do dueling ring for quick tellies. Uh, yeah, I think the rest I can just fill with tuna. Ooh, we are running out of tuna. We're running out of food in general. Okay, we still have a lot of raw stuff. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and cook some stuff up if we need to. God, this absolute unit of a character. Let's go. We're using stealth. Youch. Okay. All right. Fine. Nine damage immediately when I'm wearing full rune? All right, cool. We'll, we'll, I, I understand when I'm not wanted here. Golly, it happened again. Okay. Jesus, what's hitting tens on me? Plus, is so much more dangerous than I give it credit for every time. All right, there we go. Back here again. Go ahead and pick the, don't pick the door, don't pick the door. No, you fool. Yep, that's exactly why I was trying to click off of it. Okay, take two. Let me pick the lock of the jail door, please. No. I thought he was going all the way back. Okay, now he is. Don't talk to me, gnomes. Just let me get out. Oh my God. I said, don't talk to me. Just let me get out. Okay, thank you. Run, 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 run. Nice. God damn, 12 damage? I really should not be here with this healing food. I, I'm i actually getting a little nervous. Okay. There's the altar. Okay, let's just go for it. We're going to throw on prey melee. We're just going to run at it. Nice. Okay, good, good. Let me go to the altar. Let me go to the altar. Excellent. All right, here we are. All we need is one set of gorilla bones, and then we're good. Let's see how long this takes. 
if this takes an extended amount of time, I might just leave this and uh, go back through the tunnels, I guess, again for uh, RFD. I'm not getting a single hit on this yet. Let's look him up. Yeah, they don't have any, uh... They're not exactly the, uh... They don't really have, like, any strengths at all. They don't have any defensive stats. The issue is just that they have a ridiculously high amount of, uh... Defense, so we might be here for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are not fun to fight just because of how tanky they are. And the fact that they can heal themselves. That's the really big kicker. Oh, I know what I can do. I just have to make sure I pray up fast. There we go. That gave me a max hit. Let's go. Just need to make sure I don't run out of prayer. It's every time I dip below 20, just to be safe. Part of me is thinking too, I probably should have brought that super attack potion. Okay, that is when he starts to beat his chest. Oh, man. That healed so much health. I wish there was a way you could, like, disable that ability on them. Like, if you use a special attack of a weapon, it just prevents them from being able to heal like that. This is the part that I was worried about, is the fact that they can heal themselves while I have just really bad DPS. Oh, come on. Well, there goes my last anti-poison. Maybe if we use a spell stun? Maybe. That question then becomes, do I want to go all the way back to get stun? Let's just see if I get lucky. Because I could theoretically just stand here till the end of time. And really only the spider would be my limiting factor. Just because of the fact that it can poison me. I just realized something. Did I need the ball of wool? Or could I just string it later? Oh, uh, here's the part where I realize I may have just wasted a trip anyway. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Get it good. Yeah, no, he just keeps on healing 22 health. I can't out DPS him. I can't out DPS those heals. Is there something on the wiki that tells me what to do? Okay. Yeah, literally the only other way it's telling me that I can do it at a low combat with uh with these monkeys is if I um if I get a dragon dagger poisoned. And then just run off and then let it die. Yeah, we're not gonna deal with this. We're gonna deal with the gorillas later. This is just taking way too long. My brother, Mr. Gorilla, please. Why are you such an effective wall? Okay, there we go. All right, use gold bar on this, please. Okay, it worked. I got it. Let's kill the monkey zombie. Okay, I think that should be fine. Let's tally out, heal up, and then head back in. Okay, so now I just need to string that, make it back through the jail. Then I can pick five bananas and give them to the kid. I'm also going to need to get a monkey corpse. And wool, well, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, well, let's get some wool. I was thinking if I should cook up some food right now, but I think I'm fine. Actually, I think what I might do, I think I might buy the gourmet food that is at the gnome stronghold, because that heals for quite a bit. Yeah, sup over here. That stuff sells pretty dang good. I think this is the guy that sells the food. No, he just sells ingredients. It's the waiter that sells the food, right? Yeah. So it's these guys that are like super, super good.
All right, hopefully that'll be good enough. Oh, wait, I don't have any anti-poisons. I need to get some. Uh, Castle Wars. We're just gonna get like another full four doses of the super anti-poison that's over here. Uh, let me grab the dueling ring so I can get back to the Grand Tree quickly. I forget how dangerous this quest is. It feels like the stakes have been turned up so, so high just because of the fact that I'm really trying to keep that hardcore status. Like, all the stuff that's out here that's been attacking me, it hits for so much harder than I remembered. All right, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and head back over to Apatol. Thank you, thank you. It's just one of those quests that always gets me a little antsy. There's so much that can go wrong. Now we just chill here and wait for an opportunity to make a break for it. So I think the monkey archer is probably the thing that's going to do the most amount of damage to me. We'll pray melee on the way out, see if that helps out the situation. Okay. 
I always forget that running through that area isn't always the best idea. Okay, no, that archer absolutely could snipe you. Okay. Are these the banana trees I need to pick from? I think they are. We'll wait for this person to get out and then we'll pick our five bananas. Alright, move out of the way, monkey on. Please move, please move, go, go, flee. Thank you. Okay, there we go, they're going in there. Okay, gotta wait for her to come through. And then I need to steal five monkey toys. I feel bad about doing that. I always feel bad just rubbing this poor monkey child blind. Yep, uh, yep. Just keep running, keep running. I honestly thought I was safe there. I don't know why I thought I was safe, but I did. Would this be a good opportunity to kill a monkey guard? Uh, I guess it didn't matter because they disappeared anyway. Ooh, didn't like that. Okay. Gotta wait a little bit longer before I can enter in the garden. That should be fine. All right, just need to get five of these and then we're good to move on. Didn't mean to pick the banana. All 
All right, two talismans down, three more to go. Oh man, starting to get a little late, so yeah, this will definitely be the last quest I do tonight before I pack it in. This is just the longest part, it's just sit around, wait until the monkey goes through its dialogue, and then we're good. Dude, I feel so bad about this part, I always feel horrible. What are you doing here, King's Messenger? This is a deadly island of monkeys. Get out of here, man. <laughs> well, I appreciate you giving me the regicide note, but was that really necessary? <laughs> Out in Monkey Island, my guy. They want your bones. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? I don't remember this in Monkey Madness. Why is this happening? Cool. <laughs> At least I can start Regicide now. Did I even talk to the monkey? Is he crying right now? Guess we're about to find out. Okay. Wow, can I borrow it? Okay, I promise. Woo! All right, just gotta steal one more and then we are all good. Hold on, I gotta tell the monkey I lost it real quick. Lost the toy. Run off. I do want the monkey's bones, that is true. But not this monkey's bones. I want a Karamjan monkey bones. Come on. Let me run at you. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, it's like, there's no way that the... Uh, oh, crap. Uh... Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I promise. Okay, now we're good. I, I thought for a second there that the aunt was just like, alright, tough luck, kid. You kept on giving it to the wrong guy. You should you should have known by now. This is the fifth one. <laughs> King Tyrus needs you. Okay, fuck my covert operation here, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, this guy's dead. This guy's 100% dead. Oh, jolly bolly. Oh, jolly bolly. Oh my god, both of these guys are super dead. Well, there he goes. <laughs> All right, well, rip to that guy. Uh, let's hope we don't do that. Uh, next up, we need to... Okay, we actually need to go get the monkey corpse. Let's go run to Apatol, do that super fast. The rip, yeah, exactly.
Okay. All right, so I do only need to go to Zooknock uh, one more time during this quest. Um, however, I am going to wait until I have... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do another trip to Zooknock, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and at least get two of these. Let's also get 30 coins. So I can head over to Karam just super fast. Uh, then we need zombie monkey bones. Uh, and then we need tuna. All right, that should be enough to make it through the second round of uh, Zooknox Cave. And then we'll get two Grigories out of it. Not ideal. I would have liked to get all four, but just because of the gorilla, that wasn't happening. And I figure I may as well get the monkey at the same time as I get the gorilla, or the ninja at the same time I get the gorilla. It is inefficient. I totally recognize that, but eh, what are you gonna do? At a certain point, once you start doing low level content, or if you're doing content at a low level, efficiency is kind of out the window. Maybe I'd have a better time at killing the, uh, at killing those gorillas with a dragon scimitar. That might be the secret piece of the puzzle. Oh, there's a monkey right here. There we go. Monkey bones. And now we off to pvp arena so we can go through the monkey madness tunnels God, the amount of connections they have to make to get to Apatol is so crazy. Going, keep moving, keep moving. I was trying the flicking thing, but uh, it didn't like my pathing. I was going a little too fast there. Uh, I always feel so weird about doing the uh, flicking if I don't have... Uh, I feel so weird about doing the flicking if I don't actually have like a metronome going. Because that little handicap always feels very, very good.
Okay, yeah, making this through just fine. Eventually, you just use staff and mushrooms, yeah. Fairy rings are so nice. Alright, almost to the end. Almost there. Alright, and oh, just a little bit further. For some reason, I thought that that was the place I needed to go, and the monkey was just not where he was supposed to be at all. Give, use that on Zooknock. All right, good. And then use bones on Zooknock. All right, there is a Gree Gree. I like how that room where that conversation happens is literally like, like, like right over there. <laughs> it's not a far at all from where I currently am. All right, let's go ahead. Use this or wait, can you make another monkey talisman? Yes. Okay. Use this. Use this. And now we have a zombie monkey, Gree Gree. Very good. We have everything we need on the Gree Gree side of things. Uh, let's go ahead and do the monkey stuff. Then at this point, Apatol should be safer to travel. All right, no teleports. We're going to go ahead and walk all the way back. Oh, and I'm getting a little bit nervous regarding the fight against the jungle demon. Now, from what I understand with the jungle demon, if I do not move immediately like once i spawn in if i do not move the demon will not approach me therefore will only attack me with magic attacks and therefore cannot uh hit me with any melee damage so 70 mining congrats uh so i think that Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get an opportunity to, to stock up and heal up beforehand. Okay, I, I shouldn't worry. We'll be okay. Correct, otherwise bridge strat. True. I've never done bridge strat, though. 
So I hope I don't have to pull out a backup strat that I've never done before on a hardcore. I doubt that it'll come to that, but maybe I'll bring like a ton of food just on the off chance that it is needed. Bridge is easy. Yeah, let's just make it over to the bridge. But I've heard horror stories of hardcores getting one shot by the demon by a melee attack while running to the bridge. So what what is the what is actually the max hit? Jungle demon. Yours is uh max hits. 32 is the max hit. So I guess as long as I keep my health above 32, if I need to beeline it towards one of those, I can. Ideally, I'd want to keep it higher though, so I can just get hit immediately, eat a high, eat a high healing food. So that way, if I get hit again, that doesn't outright kill me on the off chance that he hits two max hits in a row. What's my defense? 40. So not that great. Good enough for Rune, and that's about it. Alright, monkey time. Alright, now if I understand correctly, everything should be completely safe from this point forward. As long as I stay in monkey form. Just in case though, that is why I brought extra prayer potions and food. <laughs> yeah, Draymond Staff really would be the fastest way to get here, huh? Okay, yeah, it's open the gate so monkey wishes to pass. That's right. Oh, this is just... MM2 guy over here. Hi, Kruk. I'm gonna kill you later. And there will be no remorse and no regret. It will be your body on the ground, and that is it. Alright, Garcor, talk to me. That's right, I forgot I always have to talk to Kruk first. If I do bridge, pray melee before I move. I'm sure you knew that. Oh yeah, for sure. Now, I'm, I'm planning on doing the uh, Prey Mage method. I just have to... I just have to make sure that I don't somehow mess it up. I don't think there is a way that I could mess it up, but you never know. Uh, I don't really have a way to get up there, do I? Yeah, that's a part of the Ninja Monkey Agility course. I don't think I have to go up that way. Yeah, here we are. There's Croc. Okay.
I'm very curious to see what my uh, combat stats will end up being after I do this. I'm hoping I get 45 defense. I would like to be able to wear the uh, Fremenic helmets. Nice, it teleported me back. Let's go. Do I need to talk to him again? Okay, now I talk to Gargor. Here we go. Final battle time. Let's do it. Talk to Garkor again. All right. And now all we have to do is put on the sigil and go fight things. Let's also pray up first really quick here don't think poison resistance is needed but i will bring the uh super anti just in case same thing with the monkey grigri just in case it immediately spits me out onto apatol i just want to make sure i am good i kind of doubt that that's what will happen but can never be too careful right um i am thinking i will not be bringing in the tome of fire for this fight i don't think it's worth it it'll kill it faster but I don't want to burn up those pages. So we're just going to go with a very standard uh, mage setup here. Let's go ahead and dump this over here. Dump this. Put that in the wrong tab. Ooh, same with this. We need to put that in the correct tab. Uh, this, we also need to put in the correct tab. Okay. Uh... All right, let's get prepped. So we need fire staff, we need robes, we need this, we need this, and uh, we also need magic hat. Let's get the fire making cape. Anti dragon shield is the offhand, just because that doesn't give any negative magic bonuses. Uh, blessing, and then dueling ring. Yeah, it should be good. All right, and then let's bring the seal. Let's bring three full prayer pots. I think that's overkill, but you know what? Better to be overkill than not have enough. And then let's bring all of these. Plus all of these. And then, as an emergency teleport, Artie Cloak. All right, I think, think I'm ready as I can be. Let's go ahead, pray melee or pray mage. Wear the sigil. And then, worst case scenario, we have the emergency teleport already here. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot runes. All right, take two. We need runes. <laughs> Hi, Rev. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. 
Hopefully that doesn't mess up the safe spot. I don't see why it would, right? It should just reset the fight. I'll hop worlds just to be safe. Just on the off chance, so that did mess with something. Let's hop worlds. Instance should be instance, but good call. Yeah. The only reason why I'm thinking about hopping the worlds too is because uh, last night when I was fighting Koshay the Deathless, the other Koshay that I fought first didn't despawn after I fled. So just, just want to avoid that type of a situation. Uh, yep. Yeah, let's bring Chaos Runes. Why not? Shred through it a bit faster. Okay. Now we teleport. <laughs> okay don't move let the demon approach i'm actually just gonna let auto retaliate do this fight for me there we go welcome to auto scroller the boss fight The requirement is that I do the last hit. Welcome to your auto retaliate only hardcore. You could probably get that pretty far. Twenty-seven health left. The only restriction is that I still have to deal the last blow. I've been hit pretty bad. I would have hoped that I would at least get a couple better hits in on this, but eh, it is what it is. All right, we're down under ten health. Please, gnomes, let me get the final hit. Let's go! All right, we're safe. Let's talk to Garkor. Speak to Zooknock. Where are you putting me? I had a feeling you're gonna put me right in the middle of, right in the freaking middle of Apatol. I should have known. I should have figured that out immediately. <laughs> May look easy. That's a freak. Let's go. Yeah. It really isn't that hard of a boss fight, but God, does it, does it make me nervous just because of what it is? Didn't you break a sweat? Oh yeah, absolutely reclined.
Did the occult raise in price? 560k? I thought it was like under 100k a while ago. No, I'm thinking of the trident. Okay, that's what it is. All right, 10K coins, three diamonds, and now we get some, uh, now we get some XP rewards. That 10K is honestly really, really nice. Monkey Madness 2 last week for the first time. Last boss fight was easier in the Secrets of the North. That's at least good. Uh, Want to sign up for the training program. All right, let's go ahead and focus strength and stamina because strength is always more important. All right, and what do we get? 51 strength, 54 HP, 48 attack, 44 defense. So not quite there yet for the 45 defense, but only 2k XP away. Well, cool. Now that that's done, what next? Monkey Bandits, for some reason, and the Quest Helper plugin is still showing as in progress. Let me go ahead and, yeah, look at this, see if that updates it. Okay, uh, what do we have next here? Could you Elemental Workshop 2? That'd be really quick. Uh, let's see. Work towards Barrows? Yeah, that's the idea. Can I do Desert Treasure yet? I cannot. I think that's because of quest requirements. Yeah, Temple of Icob and Troll Stronghold. Okay. Tears of GitHub? Got it. <laughs> Um, I have the requirements for the bullseye lantern, right? I should, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Tears of Gothics. That should be actually a super quick one to do. Need a sapphire lantern, uh, cut sapphire on a bullseye lantern. And then to make the bullseye lantern, that's like what, steel? Let's teleport to Varrock really quick. Grab some steel bars, go to Varrock, and see if I can make a bullseye lantern. Oh, I don't have any steel. Do I have iron ore? I do. Let's just get all this. Head to Lumby first. And then we'll go to Varrock.
I think this is enough to make four steel bars. I doubt that I'm going to need more than that for a bullseye lantern. I'd be very surprised if I had to do more. Okay, uh, we're making steel. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 1275 total level. Nice. Ninety-nine binding before next goal? No, that's that that that's a hard no from me. I ain't doing that. <laughs> oh, you're out of your goddamn mind if you think I am. <laughs> All right, and this is cut sapphire on a bullseye lantern. Cool. Uh. All right, let's get. That's an uncut sapphire. Cut sapphire. All right, cool. Now we got that. Wait, huh? This is a sapphire lantern, right? Do I need oil in order to light it? Will it let me light it without oil? Uh, I need to add some oil before I can light it. I'm pretty sure I get that from uh, charter ships. Okay, need a rope, I need a chisel, and I need a pickaxe. As well as a lumpy teleport. Nah, yeah, let's just get the full teleport suite. <laughs> Alright, uh, fastest port down. Or fast Mattis, I'm pretty sure. Seems out of the way, but I do think that this might be the fastest, like, instant teleport to, uh, to a charter ship. Cather port? Okay. Yeah, Cather B would probably have been fast, too. Then I am correct about these guys selling lamp oil, right? Uh, I was wrong. How do I get lantern oil? Lamp oil. Okay. Uh, lamp oil stilling swamp tar using a lamp oil still. Do I have swamp tar? Swamp Dar. Oh, Lumbridge Swamp. Okay. Well, let's tell you to Lumbridge then. Actually, let me get the Arty Cloak so I can get to Remington quick. We'll also drop off the Ecto file. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, Lumbridge. And then we get these pastes or the tar. Wow, I got 61 magic from doing a Lumby teleport. Let's go. <laughs> that was a completely unexpected level. We will not complain, though. We'd love to see it. and then we'll get this distilled and then time to actually start the quest oh we could get a pink cape before we finish tonight too
Let's actually go do that on the way from the distillery. What game am I going to stream Friday? Uh, yeah, so on Friday, I'm going to be streaming Breath of the Wild speedruns. At least learning how to speedrun Breath of the Wild. I'm uh, mainly just trying to get through Great Plateau, trying to get the Great Plateau section of the speedrun down under 20 minutes. Then after that, then I'm going to start learning Castle and the, the uh, Blight fights. And then from there, it'll be a fully-fledged speedrun. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm planning on doing. I think it will be fun. So I'm gonna get my fire making cape. Just as a light source. Yeah, definitely a good burnout break. I am starting to hit a little bit of burnout too, so this this will be good for me to try something vastly different than what I normally do, but still calls back to something that I did in my past when I when I started streaming. Hell, if you look at my uh, if you look at the very first stream I ever did on YouTube, it was a Breath of the Wild speedrun stream. So this will be a slight return to form. Uh, wait, huh? Do I just use the tar on the chemist? What do I do? I uh, use a small still in here. It's all set up so there's no filling around with dials. Put swamp tar in and a lamp to get the lantern oil out. Where's the still? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, nice. Got it. All right, cool. Off to Lumbridge we go. I want to say this is not necessarily the fastest method, but it's the most comfy. Feels closest to the uh, teleport spot, so we just squeeze in through and beeline it out. Okay, no grab hand guys. There a grabby person over here. I don't see one. Just in case. Yeah, I didn't see one, but we should be fine. Hey dude, here's a gothic. Give that free weekly XP. It's honestly pretty good. I keep forgetting to do it, but I really should do it just so I can. What am I even gonna get? Uh oh wow, is Slayer gonna hit my tears of gothics? That's really funny. I can't believe Slayer is my lowest skill right now.
is the most fun ride ever! <laughs> guys like what we're seeing, give a like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Let's see how much we can get. feel like I miss it. Like, I always make the wrong call whenever I see all these. Like, I always move away too early or I, uh, decide to stay and it ends up being green or just nothing happens. Ooh, like there. That was almost the green. Uh, yep. Guess we're going down here. Just don't say Bofa and check. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Bofa is my uh, my personal boogie monster. Or boogeyman. My sleep paralysis demon. KC is like a thousand six. All right, eighty seven tears. Let's see what that gets me. Whew, that was a lot of XP. Let's go. I think we jumped up three Slayer levels from that. Well, cool. With that, honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We, this has been a very productive day. I only got three quests done, but two of those quests are extremely important. So glad I got those out of the way. Glad I got those taken care of. Um, so I do want to thank everybody so much for coming by and watching. Let me see who we have available to raid. Are there any other people playing old school RuneScape today? Uh, there's one PKer on right now. Don't necessarily want to send y'all to that content. Who's live on Twitch? Uh, looks like Lunar is not, surprisingly. Oh, but uh, Captain Scrub Lord is. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's his birthday stream. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, raid Captain Scrub Lord. Go ahead and give him a real big happy birthday in chat. Here you all go. You have a good night.